Great game in my opinion, right up to obviously first half it could have been anyone. I think Clifton had all their chances but unfortunately didn't get a chance to put them away. But I still think they, they did the best and I think both teams really put any, everything into it. So we just put a round of applause again for both teams. Yeah. Um, and just a bit, quick thank you to our officials, well done, well done, thank you. Um, we have to pick the game, and I'll let you explain who and why you pick the game. There you go, boss. Here you go. Like I said, good game. Hard work between both teams. I think really the midfield stood out. We're giving it to number 10 for Clinton, just for their hard work. <laughs> Just ask the, the, you just want to present your medal to your place, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, this year's uh, cup final runners up, 50 ladies. We're going to try and girls up and come, ladies. Uh, your girls win 5-0 in that cup final surely you must be over the moon what's your initial thoughts very proud of them all done really really well can't ask any more of them big smile on my face probably suggests how happy i am so surely that must be one of the best performances of the season did you really expect them to come out and win by that margin um i thought the first half we were quite poor um and 
not until we scored did we look like going on to win it. And then second half, we went through what we needed to do at half time and we've just gone on and done everything we needed to, so fantastic. You said you think the girls were poor first half. Do you think that was just nerves creeping in, especially with them being a young group? Yeah, I think there was a lot of nerves. There were really you could see there was a lot of a lot of worry. We're trying to do things we don't normally do. Um, but we spoke about it in the uh yeah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think there's a few nerves, um, and they've gone on and done. You know, they've got rid of the nerves. Once that goal's gone in, it's relaxed them. You could see after the goal went in. So. I'm, I'm going to say, surely when Becky finally put that first goal away, you must have been a little bit relieved that they had that, that breather there. Yeah, I ended up in the crowd, so yes, yeah, so I was really happy, and it was good. It was good to score when we did. What did you say to the girls at half time to uh, keep them under control and, and maintain that? Yeah, that winning mentality. We just went through the basics of what they needed to do, um, and there was a few things that we could see, um, and it was just that's all we needed to do, and it was proved that we went on scored four in the second half, so can't be happier. Surely you must have been happy that you could revolve your team with the, the, the rotating subs. Do you think it was just that, that edge that gave you there, that gave them a breather in between little breaks? Um, yeah, I mean, no, I mean, it's a cup final. No, no one wants to be on the sideline, um, whether the subs or you know the started. So. Um, but it was good and it worked well. We've we've got the subs right and it's paid paid for way, hasn't it? So we're done happy, really happy. Surely that must be one of your proudest moments in football, especially as it sums up. Uh, sorry, it it finalises what has been a brilliant debut season for the girls. Yeah. Can you just sum up the season for us um, today? Well, I mean, there's three girls um, that we turned to Newcastle when we started the reserves or the development team last year, and it's come such a long way. And I can't be, I'm so happy. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. But yeah, no, they've done so well. I'm so proud of every one of them. Brilliant. I'll let you go and dry off now, Nick. Congratulations. Congratulations, Dan. Thanks. You and your girls have won that final. Did you expect the girls to put on such a performance like that? Uh, I thought it'd be a closer game. Um, the first half in particular I thought was quite tight, quite even. We probably just edged it in the final sort of 10, 15 minutes of that half. Um, Clifton bought their A game for that first half. Um, and the second half we just turned it up a notch, didn't we, really? So it was uh, a great result, really. Um, didn't expect five, didn't expect five, but really proud of the girls, really, really proud. Everything that we've worked of and worked for this year has has come for that that final, so I'm really, really proud of them. Yeah, surely that performance and that result, <laughs> really, it gives you the the present, should we say, for all the hard work you and Nick have put in this season with the yeah. girls? Yeah, yeah, I mean, myself and Nick, Nick more so probably has put a lot of time into into the uh, into the club, um, into the development side, um, and he's, yeah, we've worked our socks off, um, but ultimately, once they cross that white line, it's, it's all down to them, like we can, give them as many instructions and guidelines as we can on the side but they've got to put the performance in and and this evening they did so and, it, and it's happened the last few weeks I mean it's they've, they've scored something like crazy like 30 odd goals in the last five games which is I mean just shows how much they've come on so I'm impressed. Surely you must be over the moon for apps being a part-time goalkeeper <laughs> yeah. especially being the goalkeeper yeah. yourself do you think her getting a clean sheet was all down to your hard training uh, of her? <laughs> I wouldn't say it was all down to my hard training, but um, she listens. Um, she's a hard worker, and she'll always um, try her best wherever we put her on the field. Uh, this weekend, she played um, since centre mid and right back, and she stood in goal for us um, because of the injury to to Casey. So, um, and she's done an outstanding job. Um, I think she's got two or three clean sheets, um, and to pick one up in a final is is fantastic. She's made a couple of of cracking saves at. I think at 0-0 and at 2-0 where those go in and it's a completely different game, like a completely different game. So again, an outstanding achievement for her. So I know she was nervous before, but uh, she's proven tonight she can do a job pretty much anywhere on the field. So again, well done to her. Has that been your proudest moment tonight in, in your short uh, footballing career yeah, so far? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I was, um, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a massive achievement like, for the girls, for the, uh, for the club. Um, and I'm hoping that the performance can inspire um, the first team and hopefully they can make it two for two. So, um, uh, yeah, the girls have worked hard and, um, yeah, I'd probably say it's a, one of my biggest achievements, yeah, definitely. Right, Dan, I'll let you go and celebrate, but congratulations to you, Nick, and the girls on what's been a hard-fought and well-done season. Cheers, Thank, Thank you, mate. You. Ta.